The Todd Shapiro Show, Canada Laughs, Sirius XM 168. Yeah, hi Lisa. Hi. <laughs> One of the founders of Vanbex. We met Kevin Hobbs many times on the program. Uh, they're they're our title sponsor of the show. Vanbex at Blockchain Whoop. Solutions, the Ooh, title wee. sponsor. Right. And uh, I'm so happy because we know we celebrated your birthday recently. <laughs> it was crazy. But it's so nice to get you on here. This is Godfrey and Gino Bisconti. Hi. 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 My name's Lisa. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Hello. Because you know what I love? There's there's we talk to a lot of people who are brilliant. And funny, but they're not brilliant and rich. <laughs> no, no. Oh, I'm so, hey, Dropping. sometimes. But that's I'm just, no, I'm joking. But I no, mean, no, that's real. Though. That's, 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 I'm neither. I have, I'm none of the things he said okay. so far. No, but you, you know, com, com, comedians to me have the most open minds. And cryptocurrency in the space and blockchain stuff, you sort of have to have an open mind to accept this new technology. And I think a lot of people in this world still don't. And you know, we learned a little bit about it through the Coinberry team earlier today on the show. But but maybe you can give us a little history of what you've done, how you got in the space and why Vanbex has gotten to where it's gotten. Cool. Um, so I guess I was like an average internet nerd growing up in like the AOL days and like the Lycos tripod angel fire like website page stuff and uh, always was really into like computers and my parents like any traditional Chinese family wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor and they were very yeah. disappointed when I went into sales. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, like your like, Jewish families are the same way. What's Jewish, like African, yeah. Arab, yeah. everybody. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely Arab. <laughs> Italians just don't want you to leave home. Yeah. Yeah. 40, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> you don't love me anymore. I've got to leave the house. Mom, I'm, 45. I'm leaving the pizzeria to you. Oh God. Um, and uh, so yeah, I went into software, and it was uh, a little bit after I was at you know the big software companies that someone showed me this article about the dark net. And prior to that, I'd heard about Bitcoin, and I thought it was a silly name. I thought it was a ridiculous like Bitcoin. Like why would you call it that? But then. The article that I was shown was about Darknet, and I thought that was super cool because it's the concept of this iceberg internet where you see like 1% of the internet and everything else is hidden. So I went home, downloaded uh, the Tor browser, and was like perusing, you know, those dark web things, and they were all using Bitcoin. And the one thing about Darknet you have to be aware of is that everyone is trying to rip you off. They'll try to steal from you. They'll try to lie to you any way that they can get money from you. But they were using Bitcoin because you can't fake a Bitcoin transaction. You can't, you know, uh, send it and take it back. It's very permanent and very transparent. So you see everything that's happening. And that's why they were using Bitcoin. And so that was the light bulb moment. Went down the rabbit hole. And then uh, I thought I could print money. So I wanted to mine Bitcoin. Didn't work that way, obviously. Gina was asking about mining earlier. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Maybe like, explain that to people, yeah, at least. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Uh, so uh, Is mine... that when you rob someone and say, this is mine? mine? No, no. Mine, uh, no. Mine <laughs> now. Mine, um, terrible. Um, terrible joke. If terrible. Only, well... <laughs> <laughs> and he calls himself Body a New shot. York, Body a shot. New York comic. Yeah, he yeah. needs an eight coin. Uh, eight count. <laughs> the eight count. <laughs> eight so coin. Eight coin. Uh, mining is like a, a bunch of computers are all cracking. <laughs> Uh, the software algorithms that uh, back up Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is made up of a bunch of cryptographic algorithms that make it secure. It's those same type of algorithms that are used in like web servers and PGP security and, and web server security. So these computers are constantly solving these math problems. And when they solve a math problem, they get to create a block, which is basically a group of Bitcoin transactions. And they add it to this long record of all these other Bitcoin transactions that happen around the world. And so that's... I, I, yeah, what? right? <laughs> Crazy. I, I, I what? <laughs> As, I, I mean, I guess for, for my, my, my layman's perspective on it is that it cracks its own little code essentially, but then it, it but now it's transparent and you show it and it creates a block. So it adds to another block on the chain. And mm. that's why it's a blockchain. So, and now that's like a ledger in itself. Mm. So that, if you mine that, you find that that is now your Bitcoin or a piece of a Bitcoin. Wow. And then you can do what you want to do with that by eventually trading it, buying something, getting it to exchange, or doing hodling. it. Or hodling. Or, sorry? Or hodling it. What is what's, Hod what's hodling? hodling. Oh, hold, hold on for dear life. Yeah. Oh, what is hodling? Well, hodl yeah. is this like Reddit term that someone mistyped hold, and now it's just like this Bitcoin thing. Oh, H O D L I N G? Yeah, so hodl. Yeah. Hodl. H O D L. Have you not seen yeah. that video called Hodl Gang? It's yeah. pretty funny. <laughs> 
Google. Yeah, that's like my ex-girlfriend's an H-O-O-R-E. So, oh, uh, come oh on. Come on, Gino. That's, you know, that more like, more bad. like he's a let go. Okay, all right. No, the, 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 it was kind of bad. Nah, it was bad. It was offensive. You know what the problem was? She wasn't a hodler. She let. She's a let goer of Gino. She didn't hodl on to me. Maybe just a G-I-V-E-R-R. Hey, Gino's trying real hard today. Enjoying every minute of this. You still want to fight? You still want to fight? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> so, so now you you obviously get you're, you're full in. Uh, you get involved, and and then how do you start to you know I not necessarily monetize it, but make this a business, make this your livelihood? Uh, it was not easy. Uh, so just like any nerd, you want to pursue your interests and hopefully make money from it. And it was a few years of people saying that it's a scam. It's not going anywhere. You know, Bitcoin is like you know just. There's nothing to it. Uh, my parents even saying you should get a job at the hydro company because it has the pension. And I was like, no, nah, I, I got to do this. Like, <laughs> yeah, pension. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it, it just eventually it just worked out. People just like hear what you're passionate about and that you offer an edge. And then they'll like be want to be part of that edge. This uh, cryptocurrency conference going on, Consensus, uh, I was telling you guys earlier, four or five years ago, it was like only 400 people. Now it's, you know, eight to 10,000 or it's something. 9, it's 9,000. It, it, you've sort of growing up in this space um, in the last four or five years. And now Vanbex being you know, one of the biggest companies really in the world in terms of blockchain solutions and stuff. Um, it, it, you know, this community continuing to grow. What does that mean for the space in general? It's a huge sign that there is something here, that there's a huge technology opportunity. And that's why you have folks like IBM and Deloitte and Accenture and SAP all got huge booths over at this conference. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And they're trying to corner their area of this emerging blockchain market. And we're going to see more segregation of this emerging industry where it's, you know, enterprise offerings versus consulting companies versus mining and payments. And there's just going to be this spread out, like, little mini industry within this larger industry. What What's, like, number one questions that, that Lisa Cheng you'll get from, from Vanbex in terms of, you know, within the space a question that like a radio interview wouldn't know what to ask because i'm not in that space um what? well the cliche do you question. ever get what car do you drive you ever get that i don't <laughs> want to answer that okay. <laughs> <laughs> must be nice yeah. sorry must <laughs> be nice must be... Yeah. very nice <laughs> no but i mean within what what's sort of a a, a common theme in, in terms of is it about the technology where blockchain's going I think the, yeah, the biggest thing is, you know, what should really people be aware of? And I would say that you have to separate Bitcoin, the currency and the price from blockchain, the technology and the platform. And the, the blockchain technology platform is where all the opportunities and that's what this big conference is all about just how you can build on top of blockchain. And we're not talking about the price of Bitcoin. We're not talking about where it's getting accepted as a payment. What, what is something that Van Bex would be working on within that space? Oh, that's actually a good question. So we actually build a lot of these solutions. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good at what I do. You know, Godfrey, it's amazing. I'm, I'm, is, it, is this I'm taxed? Like, oh, okay. Is this taxed? We'll get back there. We'll get back to that because I want to find out this. Oh, yeah. Bitcoin yeah. yeah, I wonder. I think it will be. Does the IRS go up? They want it. <laughs> oh, yeah. They are. They oh, for sure. I'm yeah. like, come on. I it's know taxed as up. a commodity, so you get taxed on the capital gains just like if you had a, a stock, a gold or, yeah, oh, stock. Oh, wow. Okay. Precious metal, okay. yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so, the, so back, sorry, to the, to, the, to the question that was a good one, Godfrey. Oops. Okay. No. <laughs> 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 I'm like the new Larry King, okay? I just I got to get suspenders here. <laughs> Tell us about Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> where, 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 where was what was the question that was so uh, good? Oh, what, oh yeah, what, what car? Um, I don't have a car. Uh, no, we, we moved on from that. Oh, okay. uh, I don't have. Where's the Van Bex? Van Bex, uh, what are you guys what, working on? Uh, we build a bunch of stuff, so we're building things for charities, building things for supply chains. We got a product called Ether Party and our token Fuel, which will basically be the fuel for a making blockchain and smart contracts uh, more easy to use for everyday people. So, you know, do you guys know what smart contracts are? Uh-uh. No. I've never signed one of those in my life. <laughs> All of ours are dumb. <laughs> they might have prenups on smart contracts. Well, actually, prenups? let me relate Ooh. it back to comedy. This can be this can be seriously... Last time I, I was yeah. about to sign one, I said, huddle your horses. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Stop, Gino. Contracts. Now this... I'm laughing at the face I know oh, you're about to make I know, when I, I do it. <laughs> you it's just like, you ugh, you uh, why? Give my permission to actually punch him, God. Hoddle, Please. Hoddle your horse. Stop. It wasn't funny. In the... It was terrible. <laughs> it was the worst. I don't really get it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Oh. He, for comedians, I think a, 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 like a smart contract essentially is something that two people agree to, and that was there on a blockchain. So it's like it is a transparent contract that you that 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 people now know. It's like full disclosure, basically. Yeah. And I think people. There's so much complaints within comedians and people getting offended. I think there should be smart contracts, whether it be on Twitter or going into comedy clubs, that if I follow Gino Bisconte yeah. or if I listen to the Todd Shapiro show or to Godfrey on the Power Hour on channel 126 on uh, Sirius uh, XM. Nicely done. That's why done. I remember it. Nicely done. Nice. By, awesome. by, by hitting some sort of agree on a smart contract <laughs> that I now can't complain about the content that I'm going to get. I've agreed to accept and, and, and be a part of what whatever is being said. Mm -hmm. And I think that's an important thing for this world because we're getting so caught up in being offended for no fucking reason at all. And I, I'm serious so about that. True. Can, yep. can Van Bex build that out for me? We could build anything you want, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's yeah. do it. Build it out. <laughs> build it out. You sound build like a, a hick from Canada. I, I know, that. build it out. Yeah, right hey, up. Calgary, <laughs> hey, say, hey, sorry. can you build it out for me? <laughs> nice, eh? Um, I just had an idea. We could probably build a smart contract for all your advertisers. So every time you mention them, it like automatically pays you. What? Oh, oh that's a very smart up. contract. Yeah, that's the that's smartest a, yeah, one very of all time. Yeah. Like Van Bex, Van Bex, Van Bex, Van Bex, Van Bex. Oh, shit. So that, that sponsor, they sponsor your show? Yeah, so we work that's together, awesome. the title sponsor, and nice. um, I've got to know the team and the management team and Kevin and, and, and Lisa. And, nice. you know, I've, I've always opened up my mind within this space, I was telling Gino earlier, probably for the past couple of years. And, mm. and really because, you know, we have a show that, don't get me wrong, the comedians make the show funny. I like just, I'm the cheerleader. I kind of just move it forward. Mm -hmm. and, and I've always... You know, legalization of marijuana, that's the thing that started with me. Like, I wanted to approach it far different than stigmas within the world. And that's why I got into the crypto space and, you know, made a little money doing it, to be honest. It's not a, a it's, ton. It's pretty cool. It's, it's what's super cool. And then you meet people. And the thing is, and my wife even was skeptical of the space and the people in the space. And last night, you know, she was here and met a lot of people within in it and people I'd met before. The community, the cryptocurrency community, much like comedians, I'm not trying to just compare to compare because you're here. Some of the greatest people you'll ever meet. You know, you said it earlier. Tech geeks and nerds, okay? There's a lot of tech geeks and nerds in this space that did well, have made money, want to give back, want to grow, want to share space, and change the game of technology so people have things like smart contracts for accountability and transparency and free market and community. And it's 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 really, there's there's some beautiful minds in the space. And for people, sure. I, I'm so sick of media, traditional. I hate media in general. I oh, hate it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. They've ruined everything for the world. And that's you know that's why you were working on Compound. That's why we're here on SiriusXM. We can do things a little differently. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Very true. The, the beauty about the crypto space. Preach on, eh? Was that good? That was a good one. That was a good one, that good one that, Todd. That was beautiful. Thanks, nice. Guys, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Van Bex. <laughs> <laughs> Cha ching. Spell that. Spell that. <laughs> but seriously, the everyone at that conference a few blocks away, it's all dudes. And only at a crypto conference can you have a room full of ideas and no hate about ideas and about wanting to change the world and finding the people that can help you do that. Another thing about crypto conferences is that it's all dudes. And uh, yeah, only at these that, things, it's like, there's that. a lineup for the men's washroom, but none for the women's. Because really they don't weird. invite, is, are they very, is this misogyny going on or what's going on? I think it's just, uh, we're just at this part of nah, the Nah, it's still thing. being dicks. <laughs> no, and they won't let totally women in. The women. They're totally, like, I just made oh. my way in. It's not, okay. you know, you just open the door. Is it a bunch of white dudes? There's a lot of white dudes. Because you're Asian. You, they like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They got that okay. fever, yo. No, yeah. That's a bit weird. <laughs> it's a bit weird, but it's the truth. <laughs> You don't hear I me don't denying Welcome San Francisco. No Welcome yeah. San Fran, <laughs> Bay Area. Just kidding. Yeah, totally. No comment. Um, <laughs> well, so so it's you're, it's been successful for you. Is there is there a big Van Bex, uh, uh like booth? I didn't even notice. Yeah, it. yeah. we got uh, our Vanbex crew over there giving away some swag, and we got our Ether Party crew uh, giving away other swag, and we're giving away some fuel tokens as well. Wow. Uh, do you just need a wallet for that? Is that how that works? Yes, actually, you do need a wallet. That's what we were talking about earlier. Hot wallet. <laughs> yeah, the, the hot <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, come on. I had some fun with the hot wallet. Hot wallet? Yeah. She'll call. <sighs> okay. You might need a cold wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, she's coming with the jabs. <laughs> What? Oh, oh shit! Man. Wow! Oh, she had an attack shit. today. Damn! Jesus! Yeah, man. Lisa's bringing wow. it, man. Lisa's like wow. solid. I heard you got some girl problems and a dollar or so. Yeah. yeah. Do you really have girl problems, or are you just kidding? I don't know. Me? I've got this. Everybody. Are you? Are you? Are you married? No. No. Oh, you know, I thought no. you were married. You're not married. No. I just All got right. out of another one. How long have you been <laughs> married? You know? I'm married for. Uh, Blau? 
Uh, your kid what? is about two and a half, so uh, three and a half years. Three and a half years. Blau. Well played. <laughs> wow. But no, we. Is that Blau? No, I technically Blau's produced Blau's his marriage Blau's too. Blau's apparently, Blau's I don't in know. Toronto. Blau's well, speaking of, of of relationships, I was always trying to hook him up. He's still a virgin. Yeah, he's still going a well. virgin. Oh, he dude. is not. Yeah, no, no, that's not happening. How old is Bilal that he's a Man, virgin? Thirty in a few weeks. God. Maybe it's because when you introduce yourself, people think you're having a stroke. Blah. That's a weird <laughs> name. Change it to Ch- Bilal is a powerful Muslim name. It is a powerful name. It, Bilal. It's got two, Bilal. doesn't have enough diphthongs. You have to say Bilal. I've always Bilal. told him. I haven't said it that way. Yeah. Lisa, sorry. I don't know if you know what you're walking into. Oh, but I, he's I, a virgin I, still, man. Wow. Uh, the guy I know is Bilal, and every person I met uh, that is known as Bilal is very peaceful. That's right. Uh, Bilal is that's the true. nicest. And he's so yeah. peaceful. He did this. I mean, nothing's yeah. going on. Exactly. <laughs> no, no. I'm just sitting in the studio he's by myself little, for the last three hours. It's been great. Lisa, uh, let's be honest. He's a little too apiece. Yeah. <laughs> he's a too apiece. <laughs> I don't know if there's such yeah. thing, but he's a little. Oh, too <laughs> man. He's no, still a virgin. Wow. <laughs> You should order something. No, let's, right? Let's, let's, okay, we'll get, how did you know? Right? Well, <laughs> you, 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 yeah. Yeah. you don't have to talk to girls anymore. You can order. Log on to hotwallet.com. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Lisa. Okay, you let's can just look. show them your crypto wallet, and they'll just come running to you. Right? There you go. That's true. I though. haven't tried that. You, you need your and and Bilal has actually dabbled in the space recently, and as well, Bilal, you can you get some gold from. Uh, I'm dropping all our sponsors you're, in here. You're on Manet, point, dude. Manet.com, uh, 24 karat investment jewelry. Get, Tell get him some what big, Manet is. Okay, he got do, your do you know Manet? Do you know Manet? No. I work with this great. This is wild. I think this is uh, wild. Money, not Monet, like the artist. No, so you know it, it, it actually means money. M E N E uh, with that M-E-N-E. little like a Sante oh, okay. thingy, whatever it is. Accent. Um, great. This, 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 this is this Beyonce. is. Beyonce. Lisa, I think you'll find this fascinating in the industry that you know you're involved in come from Manet Manet is a uh, pure gold jewelry 24 karat gold mm-hmm. like it's only 24 karat gold jewelry and essentially you get they measure by the weight of the jewelry every piece you can get so whether mm-hmm. it's jewelry or, or earrings or you mm-hmm. know necklaces or bracelets and based on the precious metal of what gold's trading at that day shows you the exact value of what you're wearing so you're actually you have your intrinsic value instead of just buying gold and someone like gives you a certificate and apparently somewhere in a vault there's that gold that you own even though I heard it's 800 times more than actually exists that they're getting rid of. You now actually get the physical gold, you own it and you know the value of it and at any given point they'll buy that back for only 10% less of, of just, you know, based on based on the value that day. Oh. So cool. you're ba- you're essentially wearing your gold. I think that's cool. It's it's and you chart like you can you can chart it, you'll set up an account and you watch it go up and down like a, like a, you know, and so so literally, people, you know, people conceivably could put what fifty hundred thousand dollars in investments yeah. of gold if they want. You can now just own that, own pieces uh, of that value. Get on a plane, sell it. Yeah, <laughs> it's just that easy. It's, isn't that cool? But business like sounds know, so easy. It's, yeah. it sounds it sounds but, so easy, and it's not. I bet <laughs> it sounds so. Easy. Uh, just get gold. I need yeah, it let now. Me do that. Now, now I, you didn't I mean, pirates had trouble finding that shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have their own. I think this company. I don't know what I can or can't say. I'm pretty sure they have their own vault though. Like they legitimately cool. have their own really? gold vault where they get wow. the, get that jewelry from. Anyway, it's, yeah, like and it gets shipped to your own. No, that's a mate. This is I'm learning, dude. That's what we do. Next level stuff here, man. We teach people. I like it. Canadians. <laughs> Are you Canadian too? Yes. Oh. Are you Vancouver? Yeah. Born, born and bred. Uh huh. Awesome. Yeah. Very, very nice. So, Bilal, uh, you're yep. you're like from the more peaceful Vancouver. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, uh, Vancouver well, I was born in Toronto, but I grew up in Oakville, so I was like a Toronto rich baby. Suburb. Nice. Toronto. That's the bomb. Toronto's. The uh, well, Lisa, as you know, through through Kevin, who we've had on many times, and just you know, I love it that we get to be us, and you guys understand that as a company at Van Bex, and we appreciate all your support here of the program, and uh, we look forward to continuing to doing this, you know, week after week after week letting people get familiar within the space and and as the technology grows and as sort of you know people want to want to learn more van Beck's can help you if you have ideas don't be afraid to reach out to van Beck's because there's a lot of things they can do and by the way i'm pitching you and kevin a coin when we get back to toronto and i think it's going to change the game Done. i have i and 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 it relates to everything we're doing okay actually share with my buddy john who just stepped in and said it's, it's good it's a good idea right it's a good idea <laughs> So, so we're doing that big pitch. All right, let's cool. do it. What are you, what, what are you doing? What are you, you're taking off now? 
Uh, well, we got a uh, crazy week. There's parties every week. Yeah. Um, oh, it'd be fun. Week. How come we don't go to any crypto coin parties? Well, I'll try and get you guys on the Wednesday night party. You do, are you at a con- at uh, our buddy Anthony DiOrio's? Are you oh, on the that boat one? Thing? The boat yeah, one? Yeah, we're on that. On a boat? It's on come a on, boat. Let's do the boat thing. Last no. night it was we a never crypto do any house boats with like Ben Moses. We never go yachting, Godfrey. <laughs> yachting? <laughs> yachting. Oh, I want to go yachting. That's how they say it on Reddit. There's like crypto house, which is all parties every day this week. They had like, I think Ben Moses or something. Thing. I uh, forgot what it was called. I actually don't know what that is. Yeah. Okay. Some SoundCloud artist, I think. So oh, yeah. They're like, there's, there's awesome. Isn't Snoop Dogg in town tomorrow night? Yeah, that's a Wednesday night. Oh, that's, or that's Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. Or He's doing a concert? Yeah. At one of these crypto parties. And of I think course. Busta, you got, he, you, you paid him some crypto. Yeah. Because yeah. he's a crip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He spells it differently. <laughs> he's a crypt, he's so he's crypto. like, oh, hell yeah. Crypto? crypto? Oh, hell yeah. I guess my, my folk gonna be there. <laughs> hell yeah. Getting paid finally with my own gang money. <laughs> Bow, wow, wow, yippee, yo, yippee, yay. What's up? That's crazy. You said you was a crypt. No, it's crypto. Oh, my bad. I thought it was a gang meeting, boy. <laughs> Still hanging on your boat. <laughs> Uh, well, thanks again, Lisa. Ah, yes, Godfrey thank you. in the house. Uh, and where can people follow you? They can follow me on Twitter, Lisa Chang, at Lisa Chang. <laughs> <laughs> I was the first one that got it. That's that like, impressive. There's like you 7 million it. Lisa Chang. Nice hustle. I know. Yeah. I know. You know. I 7 million Tickle. Lisa Chang. Yeah. 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 I'm number 39. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The Todd Shapiro Show, Canada Lives, Sirius XM 168. 